from Roger Paul Channel and this Planet X Nebiru update today. Folks, we're looking in the west. Now this, I haven't seen it like this before. I have not seen it this way before. Look right there. See there? And then this right here. The sun is right there. Well, that's where the sun just went down is right right there. The sun's no longer there though. It's lower than that. And uh, that's the southwest. And for the new subscribers, use anything on this channel. It's okay. And uh, you'll notice that some, a lot of my videos are on private. It's because I got hit with two copyrights. No, I did not use someone else's stuff. Um, it's kind of amazing how they said I did, though. But I did not. I knew the person that had to, took the original pictures. So I asked the original person. But uh, anyway, look at this. Look at that. I'm not saying there's objects in the clouds, but they are up there. And we're seeing now, what we're seeing is the atmosphere of these large objects. And that's what it is we're seeing. Look how alien this looks. I haven't got a video like this in a while. And uh, by the way, if y'all want to donate, uh, please use the PayPal link in the description. Or I always pin one in the comment section. So, you know, all of them help. So our car still ain't running. I did get enough for the motor, but by the time I got there, the motor was gone. So still gotta, I still got to come up with quite a bit more now. Look at this, folks. We're looking north now. But look at this. Look at that. Wow. And uh, in my previous video, I did say 38 months. Doc said anything over 38 months. I'm lucky. But we all know if it's my time, the Lord will take. Me. Just like any of you. If it's your time, the Lord will take you. Look at all this. Wow. I can't believe this. There's the uh, uh, southeast. There's south. Look at this right there. There's the southwest where the sun went down. Folks, we've got large, large objects close by. And uh, look at this. Kind of looks like something laying down. There's the leg. There's the ear. There's the head. There's the mouth. Like there's the big object. See there? But in many ways, folks, now I'm certain there's something here. Right in here. Now, in my previous videos, there's always something right here. And there's usually something long in here. And there's always something right there. Always. And uh, for the new subscribers, you'll see that... Uh, <laughs> This system loves my house. Look at that. Now let's look at the detail in that right there. Look at that. Now folks, for those of you that's old enough, now, we know better than this. Clouds didn't look this way when we were growing up. In fact, I've been watching westerns, older westerns, because I like to watch westerns, right? And I'm seeing how they're digitally remastering and putting chemtrails in the westerns. Look at that. Wow. But uh, there's one movie that I seen the other day that is not redoing the, vid the movies. And that is Gilligan. <laughs> yep, Gilligan's Island. So... Uh, now that's natural clouds in that movie. Look at that. 
Wow. And uh, folks, I did a video a while back, last month I think it was, about uh, that planet that that 17-year-old intern found. They said it was in the habitable zone. Folks, do you, under, do you really understand where the hab habitable zone really is? They call it the Goldilocks area. I uh, did some research on that, and it hit me. They called it, the, it's in the Goldilocks area. But anyway, when I read it, it said uh, it's in the habitable zone. And uh, the habitable zone is actually where Earth rotates. But that's something they didn't tell us, is how close this planet is. Isn't that something? So, why did they say they only told us it's in the habitable zone? You know, most people would really brush that off. But it really caught my attention when I caught a video, actually, two nights ago, about planets being found and it was something about a planet found in the habitable zone, an exoplanet, one and a half times the size of Earth. Look there. And uh, it really struck me odd because my mind went straight to the one that the, uh, that intern found. Now, we all know that they knew that planet was there. They didn't say nothing because that planet's close. There's my house. <laughs> That's what we keep taking to court. That's what we're going to be taking to court, folks. Believe it or not, we've gave $30,000 for that house already. And the people want, I think, uh, 22000 more. A total of. So we're going to take it to court because we're all paid off. Been paid off since last April, but the lawyer advised us to uh, keep pay making the payments. But now we got a lawyer that told us make payments to him until this goes to court he's going to put it in escrow so now we got a lawyer that ain't backing down our other lawyer turned us on to the one that we got now and so hopefully this will be going to court soon i sure hope so man i'm telling you we're taking a beating look at this look how alien this looks man you know there's all kinds of asteroids in that close by because that's what this system is bringing. Asteroids. This is some massive, massive objects. Look how this here comes down like this and then goes like that. See there? I see it comes up this way. There's one there. There's one right there. Well, right there and next to it. See it? And then right there, I'd say, is a big, massive object, folks. This is from a big, big planet. You know what I mean? A flat earther won't believe that, though, but that's okay. You know, they can believe what they believe. We'll believe what we believe. You know, I'm not going to bash nobody for what they believe. That is so pretty, isn't it? Look at this. Look how weird this looks. Look at the detail in all this. That right there kind of looks like a, the white moon of that, too. Look at this. This is weird, folks. This is very weird. Wow. Y'all do know the difference between a violin and a fiddle, don't you? A violin has strings. A fiddle has strings. <laughs> Some little kid told me that joke. <laughs> that was cute, you know, coming from like a little six-year-old. Now, folks, I would really say there's something in here. Look how this goes down like this, and then back up, see? Like rocks. And uh, I'll do a video uh, with my gun in it here and uh, probably later this week. I'll show you what the nine millimeter I got does. I got it for Christmas, my daughter got it for me. Okay, now it's shaping up, look at this. Look how that's rounded right there, you see that? This is whatever that is, it is it is very, very big. 
And uh, but anyway, it's a nine millimeter. It's a high point. You know, it's a cheap one, but it will get the job done. You know, that's why I said in my uh, previous video, it will do anything the Glock will do, or a Smith & Wesson, well, Smith & Wesson, or whatever. Look at these lines right here, folks. See them right there? Yeah, there they are. There's one, there's one, another one, another one. And look, it's, uh, look how they stop, though. It's like a rounded, it's like it's rounded right there. See, let me zoom out a little bit. See what I'm saying, how it's rounded? So, I don't know, really know what, what that is. Usually, if there's something up there that looks like that, usually it's an asteroid. A big one. That sure does look weird, don't it? Look at that. Wow. That is weird, folks. But, uh, anyway, folks, uh, that's what we got for Nebaru tonight. And uh, I could have got something for Planet X today, but I decided, decided not to. You know, I wasn't feeling up to it. I've been majorly depressed here lately, but I'm going to kick out of this depression and see what we got. You know, and I got to tackle this sickness head on. I can't stay depressed. And the good part is I have gained a few pounds back. I weighed myself today, so... Uh, I have gained a few pounds, and that's a good thing. But uh, anyway, folks, I do want to thank you. Thank you for watching this Navarro Planet X update today. We all must prepare. Put Jesus first. You know, put it, keep on the full armor of God. Because that's who's controlling all of this. It's not in our time. It's his time. That is so pretty, isn't it? That is beautiful. We are seeing some gorgeous sights. But anyway, if you look down that down up north there, see the headlights? It's pretty dark out here now. But look how bright that is. It shouldn't be that bright. It should not be that bright. The sun's way back there. That shouldn't be that bright because the sun's down, it's gone. I mean, heck, cars are using their headlights. You see darkness on the land. So it should not be lit up like this with darkness on the land. Ooh, looky here. Look at that curvature right there. See that? And I said earlier that right there looks like an object would, would be there. That's the atmosphere of it. And, but uh, make no mistake, folks. We got atmospheres mixing. Whether it be an asteroid, a comet, a planet, a moon. Now if you pay attention to the moon, you'll see there's objects behind the moon quite frequently. But uh, anyway folks, again I do want to thank you for watching. The next Nebru update today. And uh, thank you all for all the prayers. Greatly appreciate it. You know, if you do any donations, I thank you. They are heaven sent. We really do believe that too. Now this here looks weird. See there? That uh, whole area there looks weird. Really, it does. In fact, that's where I said the, uh, where it was real bright just now. You see that? See how quick that changed? And then right there's the curvature, see there? That's weird, folks. But All right, well, thank you all for watching. And uh, may God bless and be with us all. Put some rhyming in here. May God bless and be with us all. Thank you for watching. Roger Paul. <laughs> really, I love everybody.